We uh, took a bunch of islands over here from VJ, and now we are going to unite the islands, kick every single nation that is not us out of our lands. And I am very excited about it. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, the expanded family of mods here in EU4. I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign up to this point, because I certainly have. I can tell you that. Let's get a general on you. Let's come on over here, see if we can get these Tidorians out of our land. Let's have you guys land over here. Boat bomb. All right. Very good. Lose a little bit of mana. I do not care. We're still able to take this whale ahead of time. These guys can siege down the Philippines. It's not super good, but... Eh, maybe not. Maybe I don't want them to siege down the Philippines. Let's just boat bomb them. Okay. This is fine. Does anybody even have an army? No. So what we can do is we can come over here, blockade you guys. And then let's have... So first of all, let's detach the transports here. Have half of you guys come over here. And then have you guys siege this stuff. No, what am I doing? Have you guys come over here. Goodness gracious, what am I doing? Detach you guys, split you in half, have you guys go over there. That's what I'm trying to do. Goodness. Oh, did he just die that young? Goodness gracious. Right as I click the button here to, uh... <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's funny. Oh, well. I was gonna do the States General, and then I said, well, it looks like I can't do it because, um, you know. You know, I don't, don't have the, uh, governing capacity. I said I wasn't going to do it because I wanted to make sure that I was able to allow my um, my ruler to rule, but it seems that uh, that is no longer the case. Let's come get some more. Oh, these guys are relentless. Okay. Let's have you guys brought over here. And uh, we'll, we'll kill off their navy and their army. That is mm, their transports. Yep. So they'll be done then. Let's have you guys do something like this. And then we just need to siege down T-Door. And we'll have everybody in the war occupied in short order here. Have you guys come down here. We don't need this. We're going to be fine without it. So we're good. There you go. Let's sink their navy. All is well. Yes, very good. Let's have you guys dropped off over here on Guinea. Or everything up, of course. Look at these borders, man. It's so gorgeous. What a pretty nation we are, huh? Let's, um... As soon as these guys are brought over. Very good. Have you guys over here. Have you guys here and here. Fak Fak. A good province, in my opinion. And then we'll probably end up needing to siege down a couple more of their provinces. Just to make sure that, uh... You know. All is occupied. Because they're probably going to fight it. I'd be surprised if they didn't. A Four, six, five, huh? Maybe we don't need States General quite yet. Goodness gracious. And I'm over my governing capacity again. Goodness gracious as well. All right, so let's upgrade you again one more time. And I'll just spend my money. Clearly, we're not going to be hurting for money when it comes to the... Um, whatchamacallit. Um... um Manufactories, once manufactories roll around. And that's not coming for a couple more ticks anyway. So I'll at least wait a couple of months here. Um, that way we can core this all this stuff up. Because we are going to be taking quite a bit of land in this war. All right. So in this war, I plan to take everything you guys have. Full annex. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to separate pieces, guys. That's fine. So Brunei is going to get annexed. All right. And all your money. Easy peasy. See, this is why you didn't... I, you don't take tech when you're at war. That's, that's like a, a soft rule. Don't take tech while at war. All right. Let's have you guys brought over here. And we'll just siege down the rest of their islands. Continue converting. Let's take a look here. Yes. Sydney looking very strong. Very happy about that. Cambodian separatists. Let's put them down. There we go. Now, what else do we have over in this vicinity? I know we have a couple of provinces. Most of these are for Buddhists. The Pegu one you can use. 
Oh, for anybody. Diplo relations, diplo rep, and advisor cost. That's pretty solid. Um, now, we also have this one down here. We can't use this because we are um, not... I think it was 20% in the beginning. But we are not uh, Hindu, so we are not allowed to use this. This one we can use. Culture conversion cost. Eh. Eh. It's okay. The Grand Mosque here gives us missionary strength and tolerance of the true faith. So I think we'll use this one. Tolerance of the true faith is really solid. Anything that gives you, like... You know, loyalty. Or, um, stability is what I meant to say there. Stability. Always take stability if you can. Oh, I'm not even blockading these guys. What am I doing? Um, administrative advisor costs. Sounds good. We have five, five, five advisors, by the way. If you if you uh forgot, we'll annex you. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Or that all. Keep you guys here to suppress rebels. Though it looks like... So we don't... Ex oh, how is there such low unrest? Because it's Sunni? Is that really it? Also, was that nation Sunni? Or did they just have really... They like had no uh, unrest. Enables jihad, granting 10% morale of armies when at war with heathens or heretics. Sounds good. Let's do that. And now... Uh, Bhutan is going to get annexed as well. And I will core you as well. Are you guys starting to get the, uh, get the, um, the pattern here? All inhabited provinces in the Malacca trade node must be of the Sunni faith. We can do that. That's, uh, that's totally reasonable. Let's get a general on you. The N key, by the way, if you were wondering. Get their navy out of there because they're annoying. We'll wait. Take this on time. No reason to take it, especially since uh, in a couple of years we're going to be developing the institution. And let's take a look at what our overextension is. So we're at 50%. So I reckon we're not going to be able to... Um... Oh. What? Okay. Uh, how is that so low? They must have had like no development then. Okay. Either way. Now, we are still over on our governing capacity, so as much as I'd like to invest more into my economy, I think we're going to invest more into our stuff here, which is fine. We have another mission, which I assume is to uh, kick everyone out of our... Yes, settle the islands. Distributes five base tax and five base production among the spice-producing provinces. Very good. Free development, and then uh, spice islands, plantation goods produced. Plantation goods produced. Really interesting. Okay. So, is that like a province modifier? I have never seen that modifier before. I like that. That's good. And uh, there you go. And we'll keep you guys over here to suppress. Uh-huh. We're going to end up needing to uh, handle them. Get them out of there. Have you guys over here now. Okay. Okay. Get them all suppressed, and that's easy peasy right there. All right. Very, very manageable. We're going to have Chompin Separatists and Cambodian Separatists, both of which are uh, over here. So all is well. And now we're chilling. So let's take a look at what other missions we're getting. Settle Taiwan. Have a shipyard in Sakam. Okay, I can do that. We're not coring it. So let's go with the shipyard in Sakam. Nope, we're going to do a shipyard there instead. I changed my mind. Right? At least one province. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Guess I could have read the rest of it. So that province will get um, local trade power for the rest of the game and mercantilism. Very good. And this is in the Canton region. So, wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to... Or It's very slow, but we are converting provinces down there. All is well. How, how funny is that? That we just like... We punched Ming so hard that he just never came back from it. They said, you know what? I give up. <laughs> I give up, guys. I can't do it anymore. I will gladly take that. And uh, build a couple more of you guys. Build a couple of these guys. Production efficiency is so good. It gives you so much money. And we've also stacked it up. We took the 10% with our, um, whatchamacallit, governing, government reform. So you got to keep in mind that we are stacking a few modifiers. Um, I'll take the mana. It's fine. 
DJ separatists, sadly. Let's uh, have you guys brought over here with a general. Settle Taiwan. Very good. Plus some mercantilism, which we're already maxed out. So remember we had uh, that mercantilism price was 10 Diplo, which is actually broken. Uh, so this one will get down there. Trade deals. Have at least two allies who like me. Mm. That's going to be a little harder than I would. Oh, no. Maybe not. Let's ally you. Let's see here. Let's find a Sunni. That would be preferred, yeah? Mm-hmm. Just need to find somebody who's a Sunni who likes me. These guys like me, but they're pretty far away. Lan Fang might be a good ally. Shun, Korea, Japan would definitely be a good one. These guys are the Shogun. You know what? Let's uh let's improve with the Shogun. Get them to ally up. Very good. And so very, very good. Now we're I'm holding up. I'm hoarding my mana. That way we can develop uh the printing press when it spawns. These guys will not royal marry me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they will. Very good. Simply brilliant. Brilliant, they say. We'll also send them a small loan of a million ducats to make them like me a little bit more. Yeah. Something like that. That's fine. And there we go. Now we'll get that mission. Trustworthy merchants of Singapore. Uh, very good. So this will give us to the end of the game. Merchant guilds privilege slot. Or, uh, and uh, Diplo mana per each. So since we have four, that would mean we get four. But I think I'll just take the money instead. Because we're already maxed out on mana. We have a Cantonese Malays, which is a traveling merchant, which gives global trade power of a Malayan heritage. And he will follow the Sunni faith and he will be super cheap. And we get the Cantonese Malay community. Um, trade goods. Provide us additional trade goods and we'll increase local trade value. Okay. Shown on the trade map mode via province modifiers and may grow or shrink depending on our actions. Okay. So where are we at? Do we see, do we have them over here? Protectionism. Uncle Shipyard. Looks like we might not have any right now. Entrepot of Malaya. Very good. Either way, no big deal. A great merchant fleet, 60 light ships, and a maneuver, a gen or an admiral with a maneuver of at least three. So we can do that. Um, these guys over here. Let's. Um, Hmm. It's a bummer, too. I don't really want any light ships, to be honest with you. But it looks like we're going to need them, so let's go ahead. Get those built up. That will give us this mission, which will also give us this mission. We'll grow by one province, and Lim Chao will get uh, until the end of the game. Very good. If our attitude towards Chinese expedition was insulting or in defiance, which I do not recall. All right. All the shores of India. 10% trade power and a merchant in Coromandel. And Coromand Cape, which I assume is Coromandel. Madurai, province owner. Okay. So either have that over there or have them like me. So Madurai. Who's Madurai? They're like over here, aren't they? Portugal. Where's this? Where's Madurai? Madurai. Yeah, they're not going to like me. All right. So we're going to have to, uh, to be honest with you. 10% or more in trade power and have a merchant. Well, I think I can just send my uh, merchants over there. Or uh, my uh, my light ships that we're building. That'll probably work just fine then. So let's go with more production then. This will increase our income, which will allow us to have more income that we can spend on more things in the future. You guys are starting to uh, catch the, uh, the, the pattern here. This is a recurring pattern here. So these guys are pious, which is good. We can get what? Admin tech cost? Sure. Why not, man? Take you, take you. Uh, we have another mission. Every t everything I do, every time I do something, we get another mission. Recording our annals. Annals? I think it's annals. So let's go with uh, monthly piety for the rest of the game. I do not want that, but I will definitely take piety uh, towards legalism. Switch annal focus. Okay, very good. So we have a modifier that we can swap out. Shift in the winds. Very good. Cool. 
Well, I like that. I appreciate that. It gives you a little bit of extra um, flexibility in your play style, which is always nice. Um, oh, I don't think so. I don't want to fight rebels. I think rebels are annoying. In fact, I think they suck and I hate them. All right, let's uh, un... No, we still want a couple over here. There you go. Basically, just want to prevent them from firing if we can. So the Angkor Wat, we can't use because we are not Buddhist, sadly. There's tech discount, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple. This What is this? This one here. Yeah, I can't use it. All right, let's get this one upgraded so we can start really pushing through some... Um, some uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, conversions is what I was trying to say there. Fleet to topple empires. Give me some PP, which is nice. And then at naval force limit and naval tradition from battles for the rest of the game. Heck yeah, dude. Speaking of, I also need to be looking at this one here. Army size. We're, yeah, we've got it. We're very close. So as these light ships get more and more concentrated, I will send them over to Coromandel to handle that mission. Let's upgrade you. Yeah, I'll use my manpower. That's fine, at least for the first level. We're not fighting in any war. We're gaining 2,000 a month, so that's fine. Uh, so that gives us a little bit of missionary strength, which will help. Also could boost our stability up, so let's do that. Stay at three stab at all times if you can. It gives you a bunch of bonuses. Namely, the big one is uh, missionary strength. How far off are we from finishing this? We're close. Let's uh, recall you and send it. I did not mean to do that. Gosh dang, I keep hitting the wrong button. There you go. Send you. Recall you and send you. It's going to cost us money, but uh, obviously we are extremely rich. So there's nothing wrong with that. So be it. Catholic. I don't think so, man. Uh-uh. Did I just get an event? Yeah, here we go. Naval powers. Okay. Naval tradition, morale of navies, and navy tradition decay. Very solid. Country has an army. No country has an army as large as 50% of ours. Jeez, oh, Pete, man. That'll be a tough one. Because you got to understand, like, Ottomans over here. That means we have to have at least... Who's got the biggest army in the world? I would assume it's Ottomans. Yeah. Oh, two Sicilies is orange. Carlo de Trastamara. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let's take a look now that we can see what's going on over in Europa. England is Anglican. Castile did not form Spain. They do not even have a PU on Aragon. Okay. Granada is still going strong down here, which you actually love to see that. Uh, Pomerania. Commonwealth is very beefy. Oh, Kurnatovsky. Uh, we got a Rurikovic here in Russia, which is united. Ottomans is mostly contained, considering where they could be. Uh, Mamluks are still pretty solid as well. Not bad. Not bad. We are absolutely still number one great power. Almost double the Ottomans. So, safe to say we've, uh, we've won this campaign, right? Singapore gets idea cost. Miltech cost. Oh, well. I guess, uh, yeah, none of those are particularly useful. I'm almost maxed out here. So I suppose we'll go with Diplo. We'll do a couple of dev clicks in the meantime. We still got five years until um, Global Trade is going to spawn. So might as well buy it down a little bit. Five years. You're going to accumulate a lot of mana in five years, especially at the rate that we're gaining it. So might as well do a little bit of development. That's still increasing our income. Like, look at this, dude. I can't... Oh. It's actually nuts how much money we make. Speaking of, let's increase these thing centers of trade here. Now, if I upgrade this one as well, I'll get uh, extra dev costs. Well, I have to upgrade it. But yeah, we can upgrade that. We should upgrade you guys as well over here. What is our governing capacity? We're under, which is nice. So let's core that up. And that will be upgraded. Then we can also core up you as well. That will allow us to upgrade you. 
uh, with one click here. Iron, huh? Sounds good. And just like that, we are making much better monies. Well, not really much better, but still better. The more trade power we have, the more that we actually propagate upstream. Like, look, we have 12% here and we don't have we don't have any land over here. We have no provinces in this node. We have 12, 13% of the strength here. 60%. Ooh, Malay community, huh? Oh, wait, it's Malay community in the Canton. Ah. Interesting. Trade value modifier. So we're getting extra trade being produced over here that we're just steering out anyways. <laughs> Very good. Cool. Well, I like that. All right. Now, first encounters. All right. We'll get that eventually here. Five provinces with a mosque and a university. Well, we can't do universities quite yet. That's going to take some time here. Uh, highlighted provinces owners. Safeguard pilgrim envoys. I don't know. You reckon we could get an alliance with them? It might be possible. Let's improve relations with them. If I can avoid expanding that way, at least immediately, I would like to. They're mad because I took their land, but yeah, it'll go down. Let's, um, let's influence them. That will boost our trust up with them. Which is bad. So it's pretty bad. So send them a gift as well. Get them, get the relations maxed out with them up for that reason. See if we can get them to be friendly with me. That would be a pretty, yes, let's go. Yeah, trust, that's a tough one. Currying favors with them is not worthwhile. Hmm. How do we get our trust up with them? That's my question. My general has died, unfortunately. Are you Taya being converted? Yes, map mode looking good. Keep building these guys. Make sure we keep our uh, governing capacity in check. So, yeah, we're okay. So yeah, I'm not even gonna take these texts. I'm just gonna develop. You, if you have excess mana, like you might as well just save it. I mean, this will save us whatever, uh, 90 mana per if we just wait. And there's no reason to take it ahead of time. There's literally no reason. This guy is solid, so we definitely want to educate him. Let him pick. Let's see here. Any of these guys? Yes, we'll build a couple of you. A couple more production buildings. And let's go with... Oh, you have plenty of mosques, so we don't need to build more. Let's get some... Um, some forts up in Siam to prevent any unnecessary aggression from our enemies here. So this is jungle, jungle, savanna, jungle. Good. What's the terrain? Yeah, there isn't any like defenses, defensive terrain, so to speak. That's fine. These forts are going to help out our army tradition as well, which is nice. So these, these uh, forts project is under control into these two provinces. So that is good. And this one actually projects over to here, but it does not project all the way there. So we have to build one there as well. Coastal forts are superior. They give you uh, extra bonuses delightfully devilish i'm curious where their uh capital will be so you can see how much money we're spending on colonial maintenance and we're still like totally fine so let's uh send you down here send you down here and just like really help make this uh vassal as strong as possible now we have Explo, so we should really start as soon as we finish this. We're gonna set these guys up to be a um, like a self-governing colony, because I don't actually care about them. I didn't say that, uh, but anyways, that will allow us to um, focus on expanding towards the new world, which we might as well. There's plenty of trade to be steered our way. So VJ has no trust with me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to get their trust up. To be honest with you. Uh, proclaim a guarantee on them. Does that give us trust? It does not. Hmm. Does it? Is there a way to make it trend up passively? I don't actually know. Hmm. Plantation exports, huh? Really? By offering trade deals, increase our and enemy's economic productivity. What does this give us? Plantation goods produced modifier 10. 
their trade efficiency will go up. Well, that's incredible. Of course we want that. Do we have another trade deal I can do? I honestly never even look at the trade deals. Not enough possible trade deals. All right, so let me take a look here because I'm pretty sure there was one over here that gave us extra trade deal, right? Mandela gives governing cap. Hmm. I don't really care about that, though. Not available because we have the Mandela system. What? Oh, I don't. So, oh, this is reform Mandela. This is regular Mandela. Okay, so this one gives you the minus governing cap. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So what we're doing is we are waiting to take tech. We are well ahead of time. Honestly, well, I suppose we might as well, since uh, we're not going to be taking it anytime soon. So we'll yoink that. Click that button there. Get our piety up. We are very pious. Look at us. We're pious boys. And uh, we're just waiting on um, printing press to spawn so we can dev it up over here in uh, Siak, which I will upgrade promptly as well. Well, we'll upgrade it when we're able to. You have to have 25 developed to upgrade them. And then we will be able to be the economic powerhouse as well as the technological powerhouse here in the uh, Indonesia region. But uh, guys, I think that's a great place to call it today. I hope you're enjoying. I certainly am. If you are, make sure you let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell to join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. And make sure you guys stop by the Expanded Family Discord linked in the description below. And uh, ping Lamon and Zitrone and tell him that he needs to join a voice chat with Chewy and uh, hang out with him because... We all love Lim. Go and send Lim some love. And Steopa. Steopa's a good guy as well. They're the only devs that I really talk to on a regular basis. So no disrespect intended to the devs who I don't shout out. You guys are all great. And I love your board. I love your work here. And I'm very happy to uh, platform it and give you guys more eyes on your work. But either way, guys, that's all I got for you for today. Join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. Support me on Patreon. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.